Sports, and we are in the Pacific Northwest at Lumen Field in Seattle, Washington. This crowd, as we've come to expect in recent years, as loud as any in the NFL, and they get even louder when their Seahawks are introduced. We're ready for football as the Seahawks get set to do battle with Cam Newton and the Carolina Panthers. Amir Abdullah going to take it out of the end zone. Oh, damn. And no chance to get away Shit. as they'll get him down at about the 17 yard line. Yeah, he just laid him out and got me. So from the 17 now, that. here's a first and 10. Let me get this. Come on. Play action. It's Newton. Sliding out Y'all forgot pocket. about Cam. Cam wisely hitting the deck at the end as he slides and has the first as well. Y'all forget about Cam. You know, I don't think this is the last time we'll see that in this game. This guy has mobility, and they want to use his legs in the game plan. So there will be designed runs as well as his scrambles. Oh, and they'll get it up just down. short of the 45 at the 44. Well, no slow start here. A couple nice chunk plays back to back. I love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways, right? Threw the ball on first down for a nice chunk of yardage. Ooh, Came right be back nice and if ran I can the get ball. That Looks like they've got the defense set back on their heels. Let's see if they can keep this moving. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. Should have stayed on the outside. First down screen pass, good for five. So Charles, first drive here, a little safe completion underneath. Maybe get some rhythm, get your feet wet, so to speak. I agree, and I like it because it's a lot like a basketball game when right, you're getting started and you pass Maybe the ball not. around so everyone touches it early and gets involved in the game. In this case, it's not just dumping it to a back and he's able to run with the ball. But you get your offensive linemen involved because they get to get out and there run you and go. Hit people in the open field. Everyone Thomas? getting their feet wet early. A big connection on that one. 38 yards. All right, Charles, let me put you in the head of one of those defenders out there. You have a big play like that go against you so early. What Does that shake your confidence? It shouldn't. But it often does because your thought process all during the week is how you get after that offense and make your plays. And when they make one against you, it makes you a little bit hesitant. Time to regroup. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Another run with McCaffrey on second down. Oh, I had He'll to block. I just couldn't get well going. The line, and I think he might have just given those four yards right back. That second down play, that's a minus four. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line. But I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you follow him in at varying levels. I'm going to get my points. Everyone's in the line of scrimmage. If he breaks through, it's nothing but room to run. Damn it. I'd rather get a touchdown. Wow, he almost blocked that. Is good. And the Panthers stay claim to a 3-0 lead. All right, defense. Well, after marching down the field, only getting three there, kind of feels like a win for the defense. It's and it better does. Than nothing, They'll go to the sideline feeling a lot go better out. that they didn't give up a touchdown after the uh, march against them. But if I, I hate the offense, that. I wouldn't hang my head over it that was... one. That's a good drive, and three points were put on the board. Wilson of the Seahawks take over now. First and 10 at the 40. Looking to throw. Wilson steps away to his left. Good. So it's, good. it's incomplete. A good hands in defensively. at second down. You could tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Five yards, now it's third and five. Now Wilson. Eluding the pressure right. That's complete to DK Metcalf. 
And he'll go down, but not before Damn getting this inside the 30. Now that's all about making something happen as a quarterback because instead of forcing something on third down, how about him buying some time outside of the pocket, waiting for someone to come open? And when he did, he put it on him for a big play and a first down. Stop him. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Three nothing right. after one. I want on the first EA Sports. Let's do it again. Second down and five. Now it's Wilson. Now left, he's got it to Everett. Oh and my head. He'll get this down to the 10. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Now Wilson. They'll roll him out right. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. He couldn't get rid of it. He winds up losing a yard. It's second down. The sack cost him only a yard. It's second and 11. Throwing is Wilson. They'll run the screen with Carson. Oh, come and on. He'll be brought down here at the three yard line. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. This is Carson. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Now it's Wilson. Yes, sir. Set up the screen. That's complete. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. Oh. Go ten. Let's go with this right here. There's Wilson to throw. Flushed out right. I tried to get back there. I tried to get back there. A five Shit. yard touchdown catch. And the Seahawks have taken the lead. So he scrambled right, but was able to look back toward the middle of the end zone to find the target. I hate it when that happens. In this game, sometimes you just have to know when to break the rules because we all know most guys throwing the football are taught never throw a ball into the middle of the field on a scramble. He did it and got away with it for a touchdown. Instinct sometimes, right? They just take over. Instinct and vision. Sometimes you just see people who are open, you're able to get it to them. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too Up pleased again. that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. To throw again on second down. Newton. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over at that time, but it's going to lead to third down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. Oh. And 
this one is incomplete. I'm looking at this one with my defensive eyeglasses on because you remember the old days when a tight end saw a linebacker covering him and thought he had a mismatch? But the way they can run nowadays, not necessarily so. They gave it a shot downfield. That one incomplete. That wasn't no hit stick. And it'll be Seahawk football first and ten. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And they're hoping to redo their efforts of the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. We remind you in just a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Orlando and our good friend Jonathan Coachman. Coach will run through some of the numbers and the next-gen stats from this first half of football so far. Buying time to his left. Minute. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 35, and he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. I know it appeared he was saying, hey, give me the football, I'm open, but I don't know if that's a pass that he should have thrown there. Well, I don't think we've ever met a wide receiver that doesn't think he is open or is about to be open. <laughs> True. So when you throw your hand up in the air and tell your quarterback, hey, I'm available, he's trusting that you are. In this case, he was not, and it turned into disaster for them. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they're ruling really incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. I think we can all understand what they're thinking right now. They take over the ball in field goal range after the turnover, so they've got that in their hip pocket. But they've got to go for the end zone and turn this into a bigger point. Their thinking is a touchdown is really what they should get from starting here. Getting three points at the end of this drive, that would feel disappointing. Throwing again on second and ten. Newton. He throws and he hits the slant route to Thomas. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed. And on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. On first down, this is McCaffrey. Oh, and he'll on. find his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. A gain of three, second down. Earlier this half, you were wondering how the defense was going to handle him defensively. Were they going to bottle him up at different levels, so to speak, is what you said. What have you seen so far? Well, I think they've been absolutely terrific because it feels like on every play, if we were watching this in the film room, when they clicked off the film or stopped it, you would see 11 Why did he... of that oh same God. color. Right there in the frame trying to tackle it. That's what you're looking for. Now Stop the Panthers right going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Throwing on third down, Newton. Touchdown, all right. Spike that ball. Good Lord, I just killed you. 10 yards out, and the Panthers are going to jump back in front. Zane Gonzalez on for the extra point. Ooh. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. almost blocked that. Now after the See. touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds. So really good starting field position up past the 40-yard line. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Good starting field position here for the Seahawks as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. To throw is Wilson. Escaping the pressure right. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. 36 power. Another try after the first down sack. Wilson. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's oh, come on. I, I got to come up with those. It wasn't nobody around to get it, though. This will remain Seattle ball. 
a lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage, but I think the good news outweighs it, able to retain possession. That was big for them. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Flush to his right. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. Damn. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up fourth. On fourth down, ready to punt Michael Dixon. And he gets this away. And look at this. This is a good one. Ten to seven and a half. Not so too bad. So we hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. All right, Coach. Thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes to right. what's been a closely fought battle to this point. The Seahawks trailing, but they will have possession first here as we resume action in the third quarter. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. On first and ten, it's Wilson being chased out left. Oh, yes, sir. Good line, hands. Go. Intercepted. Oh, he ran Picked out of juice. <laughs> Set up in the red zone at the 15. Charles, there's something about. special about one of those big D linemen bringing it in off the tip there. Really nice coordination. Very much so. And I think what we've seen, and I'm going to put it in about the last five years, maybe a little bit longer, coaches placing a bigger emphasis on ball drills, even for defensive linemen, because possession is so key. And you've got a chance to take one away. You want people comfortable with the football, and it paid off there. Second down and right back to McCaffrey. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. Well, this red zone is where the Seahawk crowd really makes it tough for an offense to communicate. It's third down. Gets this to his running uh, back. It's Christian they, McCaffrey. Okay. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. Call it a loss of two there on the off, play. And it'll be fourth down. down. <laughs> Gonzalez's kick is good. So good. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. So it was a three-point like lead time. at halftime, and they double that with a field goal here. And I think defensively, you've got to be okay with that because you kept this game within a touchdown. Your hope is that you've inspired your offense to put a drive together, get in the end zone themselves, and hopefully get you the lead. And ultimately no, cannot no, no. get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see. Probably a tackle here. Nice job. Nice patience right there. Put him on the right side. Let him work his way across. Put the ball in his hands and let him work his way upfield with a catch. On first down, eluding the pressure right. 
that's complete to Penny Hurts. And he's brought down. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Here's Wilson on the move to his left. This one into the hands of Metcalf. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Throwing again here, Wilson. Out to the right, he gets it to lock it. A gain of six there on first. So that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Thank you. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Flushed out right. Uh -huh. He's in the end zone. Touchdown, Seattle. Tyler Lockett. His second touchdown of the night. And the Seahawks are now just an extra point away from moving out in front. Now Myers for the extra point. And this puts him on top by a penny. It's 14-13. All right, it's and that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here's Myers now to kick it away. Here's Abdullah from his end zone. Damn, I and tried. In hindsight, probably Shit. should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. I should have. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Pass the Damn, 20. I thought I was going to run the clock. But touchdown. I'll take it. Christian McCaffrey, 84 yards. 84 yards. And the Panthers are once again going to retake the lead. They had just given up the lead, and they get it right back. Yeah, how about that? Answered quickly. Got right back to it. And look, long drives have their place. We know that. They can wear teams down. But when you hit them with big plays like that, that can really be a shot to them. A big-time one. Yeah, one play, but now your defense is probably saying, man, we could have used a little more rest over here. <laughs> Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. All right, defense, let's get him. This fielded right at the goal line. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up? Now go to the ground. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. AJ Boye with a yes. pick. Woo. And they take over. They'll set up shop at the 46 yard line. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Jordan Brooks on the tackle. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. On second and nine, Newton dancing to his left. Oh, oh, oh. Complete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. Damn, that was man. an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. 
But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them, and I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. And it's a touchdown. And the catch is made. I had to look at everybody. He was on. Oh, damn, another one? 